What is up, everybody? Welcome to YAN. I am your host, A's to the A, Ron. We are here with another episode of What If. Again, I do not know the title, so let's get right into this. But before we do, if you're new here and you haven't seen any of the reactions we've done so far, feel free to view them. And if you like this video, go ahead, like it, subscribe it, share it to your friends, comment on it, and subscribe to YAN to let YouTube know that you're enjoying what you're seeing and you want to see more and you'll want to stay up to date with all the nonsense. But please, please, most importantly, enjoy the reaction. Last episode was my favorite by far, so I don't know how they're going to top it. <laughs> oh, where we last left off. Uh-huh. Watch this. Girl power! Where did that move come from? Oh, that? Oh, Wasp is on the team. Interesting. It's so great seeing these iconic scenes uh, from our favorite, you know, MCU Marvel films, but with a new context or new perspective. Like, God, I love the MCU so much. Hey, nice hat. You go high, I go low. Or we could just punch him a whole lot. Mm. He does have a very punchable <laughs> face. <laughs> good intro. Good intro. Good intro. Oh, I'm not supposed to be looking at this. So, uh, how was your Christmas? Was it good? <laughs> my, my Christmas was eventful, to say the least. Um, I think I just saw Josh Keaton. Oh, God. No, no. Wait, who would he be playing? Oh, I, just, ah, I looked again. I saw Elizabeth Olsen. Crap. Okay. Or is Josh Keaton playing Steve? Because I'm guessing... This is the episode with uh, Peggy Carter and the Hydra Stomper that that was teased in the in last season. So, in that case, is because we know Steve is alive. I think because she said someone's in there. Uh, is Josh Keaton playing Steve? Seems very likely. Feel free to uh, tell me in the comments or don't. I don't oh shit. <laughs> What's the point of revisiting this? Ah, <laughs> uh, Uwaku. <laughs> Uwaku. Uwaku's so snarky. I love it so much. Like, he's just so sassy and snarky. It's so good. I find it funny that, that Uwaku just said that he doesn't do sequels, and yet, the episode prior, he did a prequel to, a pre to an episode. Um... You know, you gotta you gotta get your programming, Watu. <laughs> know your audience. And there's someone inside. Steve. More like Robocop. Robo, what? You haven't seen that? We'll rent it. Solid movie. <laughs> so Steve's basically the winter soldier now? The winner Hydra Stomper? <laughs> okay. Now you're just flexing the Marvel. Come on. <laughs> The production value in these episodes are just so good. Yeah, it's Steve. He's got a beard! Secretary of State Barnes. Bucky, if you'll permit me. Surely you understand that the Sokovian... Nice! Generous nice, Bucky. It cover Bucky's Secretary of State? Well done, my dude! And I, and I, I hear you, I hear you, Sebastian Stan. <laughs> He's still sounding spry in his age. I wonder if Hydra's still a thing. National terrorist attempting to assassinate a U.S. official. I'm trusting you to do the right thing. Okay. This is a question that I find um, very uh, like when 
we start putting Marvel in these real world, real world situations. Like I, I always find myself curious about like the actual world's issues and and you know war on terror and stuff like that. Like the the fact that we find out Bucky in in our sacred timeline was responsible for a whole bunch of killings and assassination attempts. It's like you know was 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 jfk bucky like you know like depending on time like all these assassinations in history that were done by real life people and like in the mcu were those done by you know marvel characters like was the hydra you know stomper responsible for 9-11 it's stuff like this that that both confuses me and both uh and also at the same time like interests me uh, and I don't call it nitpicking either because it sparks a really, really good conversation as to what, you know, what really happened and what is a uh, is part of the Marvel universe. You know, it's just it's it's good. I like I like talking about stuff like that. Let me know your comments. Let me know what you think. Come on, man, it's me. It's Bucky. Remember me? Is Steve gonna shoot Bucky? Let's get a drink, like the old days. Steve. Say, buddy. Steve. Oh. Oh. oh, my chest. So, yeah, I think I did. You should write a memoir. Or like a how-to manual. <laughs> its location is secret. No one can find it. Not even S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm sorry. I can take you. Steve. Peggy, that's not... Okay. No one heard him get up? Like... <laughs> like, bro, like... <laughs> he just crushes her. That's so creepy. He's in to send a transport. We have a little time. That's a first. <laughs> yo like what Natasha you're not trying to get in on this like yo <laughs> what happens in the KGV site stays in the KGV site <laughs> yo that's gross I'm sorry but you're here now it's very funny how like this song has sort of become a symbol of, of Peggy and Steve like even though like just even when it was introduced at the end of Endgame, like the song has really just become sort of the algamation of their relationship. And anytime I hear it now, I think of them and everything they've gone through. Ooh, that's a horror movie. Baby, you've got to be kidding me. That's so creepy. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Melina. Oh, is that Rachel Weiss? Mission accomplished, ma'am. In Russia, little girls dream of growing up to be Captain Carter. All my widows have seen your movie. There was a movie? It was a musical. <laughs> Still? <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if Yelena's there. Cause Yelena would still be brainwashed, wouldn't she? So is Yelena there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Continue to flex, Marvel, please. Steve, this isn't you. We gotta learn. Okay, we gotta stop. We gotta start. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we gotta start retiring that line of "this isn't you." Yeah, no shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's always funny to me. Like, movies always use that line. This isn't you. It's a good line then, I guess. These are some beautiful shots. It's me, Steve, it's Peggy. Yep. 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 Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. You're doing good, sweetie. Cool. That was a good transition. I've been fighting for so long. To end the war, to forget what I lost, I'm, I'm tired. Let the power of love win! Uh, 
Cool. Bye, Mom. Steve Rogers took down the Red Room with the power of love, and now you're all about to die. To run. Yeah, of course we do. Yeah, she busted up her kneecap, bro. You gotta fix that. <laughs> Lot to. Not He's exactly like, a happy ending. Shut up. <laughs> I see all. I observe all. I know. What the hell is this? <laughs> Uatu's my favorite character in this whole thing. Uatu, get a handle on your shit, bro. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Uatu, man. You really need to get a handle on your stuff. <laughs> like, that's like, what's going on? I thought we solved this. Oh man, that was funny. Where, Where did you? she go? That's a good question. What's going on? What if? What's happening now? More. She will save our world. Elizabeth. Oh. Eyes off. Watch her. Watch her. <laughs> oh yeah, they. She knows about Uatu. So, Peggy Carter is gonna save this, uh, it seems medieval, uh, medieval thingamajiggy, I guess. <laughs> medieval world that, uh, you know, she's been stuck into. I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. That was a very good episode. That was, that was not, I don't think it's as, as great as the last episode, but still that, it was good and then, the, the, the Uatu thing really, really, really stepped it up for me because that was f so funny. Um, another great episode of, of What If. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe to YAN, and I will see you all in the next episode of What If. <laughs> Have a good one. Catch me if I fall.